kanu kalong kabas ngau tenan ban la ban yarap iki wei kham tam lada kita ki bangi ngi yaram kim la ban siu kliang ni kalong shisha ka jingkir khu da ka khmat ba phu sam rakhi i sister guadalupe velasco i ban na kari spain ila wan sha ka ni ka jilla jong i ban sumar bat ban yarap ye ki ba pang yang nan kun na ri phu sam tam min ta sister im don shu ban ni re ki kam jong i kin ne junam la junam ban sdang yo snam thmai daga khubor bangi dei bat pin im byang ya ka jing sngolam ka jing e bat ka jing yaram ngin yo ban pe ya ka khana bat ka jing ya din ti jong is sister guadalupe ha kini ka documentary ka bala ai ka teng making of a paradise ngim la khlam da ai khub lei ye i ba ronan wa lang i bala long i ba kloi ban a ya ka la de ngi mangin yo la ban release ya ka ni ka documentary na ka ni ka channel jong i kum ju ru wat kelat ban pet ya ka interview jong i ba rolan wa lang andala kut ka ni ka documentary bat kum ba ma i ikwa ni ru na ka lang jong i ngin jin da kemen e lada i sister kwa de lupe velasco in yo jing i thu ya ki kam ba ba jong i bat kum ju ru lada don ki nu ki nu ki ba wan shakhmat ki ba kloi ban a jing ram ya ka ni ka lepa colony hatura menta ka bala sa kun swen tell us something about yourself your childhood nam dei pu dei shai ha ye mo khia ni beta ma pu khia ni beta really good mm -hmm. i love them if if i love to somebody special to my lepers i am praying and i hope that they will go with me to heaven will be there together lepers and me Our family, we were nine persons, um, and uh, sisters and brothers, no? We were three brothers, but they died when they were very small. And they were remembered, we remain six sisters. And they, but I was 18 years old. I think that I have to be close to what, no? To Jesus. And they, how I feel that our Lord was calling me. Oh, my mother, my parents, they, they can make it better. My daughter, how you are going now? So far, you're living us. It's very difficult for, for us to leave you to go just in such places. And at that time, we will not come back to Spain. No? Only forever. But after the Vatican Council, when I enter, after the Vatican Council, they changed the thing and they, we were going, coming back to Spain. I came the first time to Spain after coming to India after 18 years. So my parents, they were not already. They died because 18 years is very much, no? at that time. At that time, the fight is not very celebrated. And they... And, and they are very safe in top. Now 
landlord is calling our side, why not to allow them? I entered the novitiate and I was for two years, three, three years. After finish the novitiate, I do the nursing, the nursing for two years. And after when I finish quickly, I can. Leprosy colonies was something I never really thought about, and quite frankly, I never knew they existed. But it turns out that they are very real. The Tura leper colony is situated at the heart of Tura, but hidden away from the mainstream population. I remember having conversations with some of the locals, and most of them were not aware that this place even existed. To be frank, I don't think it would be of any interest to people to pay a visit to this particular leper colony. I felt lucky to be in the shadow of Sister Guadalupe, who dedicated her time to this colony and helped it evolve as a community. I was struck by the amount of dedication, love and service that she was able to provide for these people. Up to now she was okay, but now she's sick. <laughs> yeah. She has a child, daughter, and grandchildren. They are help looking after her. But I started to work in Kohima two years, Marala, in the hospital for two years I was working. For the year and fifty. And then, after I came here to, the, to work in the leper colony, two years in that hospital working. After the superiors, they try and fear me to come to the leper colony. And I came here, and I was very happy also, but I was missing Nagaland <laughs> and the hospital. I was missing. But here working, as I tell, I tell you, that the lepers was no like now. <laughs> it was very bad cases, no? Because nobody was looking after them. Sister Guadalupe Velasco was amongst the five Spanish missionaries to travel to India in 1948. The missionaries of Christ Jesus that Sister Velasco served under were the pioneers to serve and share their life with the Garo community and mostly the lepers who were thoroughly isolated in the beginning. The legs, the feet, you see, no fingers. And when we were dressing them, the, the, the fingers were coming to the so yeah, to the place where we were dressing. Very bad, very bad you know? And they fit, still there are some, many they went to heaven. As I love so much, I work very hard, of course, from the beginning. The lady day, I would like to be there and to help only, only with a smile if it is necessary. Because the smile is very important for them also, no? But the government was feeding them. Every day was giving rice, dal, oil, oil. Things like that. Now, but when the 
about how many years, about 10 years, the sickness was eradicated. At that time, as it was eradicated, the government stopped feeding them. They were very sad, you no? Know? It is about 10 years old, 10 years old most. And now, who is feeding? We are feeding you so rice. We are giving three kilos of rice per week, and then twice a week, or then, or a week. It is out of charity donations that we are, we were keeping. But the way, I don't know. Very difficult to get medicines. Bandage, very difficult. We told the doctor, please, dice, there is no bandage. What I am going to do? What I am going to bring? I told them, I said, all the studies of the sister. We were doing bandage and our clothes. And even the father's cassock, black cassock, <laughs> We were telling, hey, Father, when you had all cassocks, please give, because we need bandage. He <laughs> was giving. Sister Guadalupe often mentioned that the lepers were marginalized people who never really seeked care, but instead were driven into isolation. I have met people who had leprosy years ago and was sent away by the families who thought they were cursed. Many amongst them have never seen their families again. One among them told me that he was thrown out of his family as soon as he developed symptoms. This is what brought him to the colony where he lived ever since and although he has several siblings, he has never seen them. <laughs> Those living in the colony all have similar stories that share common themes of disease, poverty, and prejudice. I think when these people were suffering from this disease, there must have been very few who knew about it. And the struggle for doctors to diagnose it in time led to many of them losing their fingers, toes, and even their eyesight, and eventually pushing them to live in rundown environments. At one point, she was serving these incredible people all by herself. Her family and close associates in Spain learned about her deeds. They started to sponsor her, to help her financially in fulfilling her noble ambitions. With help, she began to have enough to buy weekly necessities and at the same time, she was able to sponsor further studies for the leper's children. Thank <laughs> you.
Initially, to me, this leper colony looked like a lonely place to live in. But people have formed incredible bonds and made it their home. They have a house and thankfully, Sister Guadalupe, who was able to provide food for all of those 40 lepers living in the colony. Thankfully, the government health clinic is stationed inside the colony along with a doctor for their medical care and also a small chapel for them to pray. The stigma around their leprosy disabilities is so strong that many shun them and they never seem to find themselves a suitable job. Instead of working, some lepers pray as beggars in the nearby market area and there are those who grow pineapples and vegetables in the colony and sell them in the market. Never have I gained such insight into true poverty and pain. These are the real stories that really matter and makes us all the more grateful for the things we have. They also taught me it's not all about the pretty things in life, but sometimes it's a small conversation with amazing people that make lasting memories. Smile. Uh -huh. My uh -huh. I'm smiling because I love very much them. I remember her eagerness to visit the colony every single day. <laughs> yes, Even if that meant for her to walk there, all on her own, her love and sacrifice for these people will never go in vain. She attended dying patients, she assisted in cleaning their wounds, and most of all, she gave them love and respect. Unlike Mother Teresa, whose volunteers grew in numbers from all works of life to help and serve the poor, Sister Guadalupe walked most of this journey on her own, serving with zeal and dedication. She is known by many as the Mother Teresa of Tura. As for me, I would be glad if the legacy she left behind after her death is acknowledged further, just as Mother Teresa got hers. I believe she has made quite an imprint in the minds of the people of Tura. Now, it is up to them to carry her legacy forward. Yang as called Roland, Roland Walang, and Nadehi na po silong. And I'm grateful, Buffy, calling her, Buffy, you know, this documentary will come out from your channel. Really proud of it. Mm. At the same time, ngakwa kibrio bapay yakan yaga documentary can, you know, especially young people. Pim don kam nong bapay berespa or or someone who's famous to do something. No. Anyone can do anything in life, and basically, banera you know, you you just need a heart. Character jong i sister, sister Guadalupe, bala aban, you know, kalongkum ka magnet. You might not want to leave. Uh, normal people, Kim Jukham Lech to. Mai, Ilet, Shong, Disha, Kim Ju, Kim Don E, Ban Sngo, Ba, Ngam Long Ban Lech to, Ngam Long Disha, Bat Ki, Ngam Long Yang Shong Bat Ki. Ngaruk ngali ibut lang i. Dang ngali ibut lang i, ngada i de ki khmat la jong. Ba, ki kam jong i, ba per sha. Ngala stick with her for years and years after that. There was no looking back. In whichever way possible, Bangala Kong Ngai Rap Yi. And Ini sister, she has a very big heart. And Nga Ngala Long Kumi Khon Jung Yi. It's difficult to find people like her to go out of the way, Bani Rap Yi Not easy. Not easy. 
kilong kum ki handicap mo kong kin tre kam ayo what will they work what will they do na pe kan ni documentary you you'll be amazed that even if they are handicap in so many ways ki le hi ki kam and they will not beg but they will work so ilai kai sister the all that is there um coming back to your question na shukwa ong ye ki ba he ba ni whoever if at all they want to help i think na kwa hi ba sister's name should be established forever so that her legacy can be remembered not only by people of tura but by the people of meghalaya and na kwa ba something concrete bakan poya katoka colony baki kini ki brew ki la man yarap ile di something where they can earn their living if that can be done hats off to the government or whoever wants to help them come the menta pe be ngan she sister kum no baka poy ka bang ki nam thai ko ka poy menta somehow katoka colony ki don hi ki brew ba byang ba bit it's a society baki yarap lang te and i'm pretty sure when you're rich you don't realize you have a lot of things the fido gam tang khandet is enough they don't need much kong somehow they survive so it's not like us we need a lot of uh, comfort you don't come kali you don't come so many things they don't that's how life is no kong we have to struggle maki ki struggle ni struggle everyone has to struggle but let's say ublay why ni kabor ban yaram i think we should go ahead and help selfless love kom when we talk about this it's a love nowadays kalong very diluted kom we don't see it amongst people it's only when ni yo something that's when we show love ngali ai khuble you play ba ila pun kunduk yang ah ibalong humble ba when you are humble it will shine on your face kom when you are kind everything is showing in your face mai there's kindness there's humbleness there is self giving there is self love all on her face in the current in the current the common same belong but i'm same ha the fido ko ya i'm same the fido ha ka jin jin jar kanu kanu ru ya i'm same so bangal aspen ka post number i am i've learned so many things so yeah 